Sunday, just out for like 10, 10 kilometers. So do I hate people that race bikes? It might seem that I take a dislike to people that ride TTs or race bikes. No, I don't. I think that's awesome if you do that. That's what you want to do. And, and again, like, you know, maybe it's something I'll get into. I said before, love the time trials, all right? But I always just like point the finger at people that are idiots, you know, like attitudes, attitude riders, you know, like people that race. Like I used to BMX race a lot and then I got out of it and then I got back into it again. And you get these attitudes flying around in that man. And uh, I don't like that at all. I just don't like it. It just makes people look idiots like, you know, even some of the, the parents and stuff. You know, if you're not, that's cool. If you are, then like, why, why are you like that? So same goes for like grown adults. If you're racing and you've got this this attitude, you know, yeah, of course, take take the sport seriously and uh, you know, take the sport seriously and stuff. But Sunday drivers, man, crazy, isn't it? What was what's it for? Like within two minutes of leaving my house, like within two minutes from my house or two minutes coming back on the ride, that's when something's going to happen, you know. So back on uh, back on track people who've got these attitudes right it's like this ego thing going on that I'll admit right that I used to be kind of a bit like that I just think like why I just don't understand what that's all about so I'm never attacking people that race bikes at all I'm not attacking anyone at all you know there's no no hate or anything towards anybody whatsoever just sort of clear that up all right what's my plans from now onwards, like it's coming up to November. It's really mild again today, okay? Really mild. No gloves still. But apparently, word on the street is it's gonna get cold towards the end of next week or something. It's gonna it's gonna turn, but yeah, whatever, whatever it throws at you. So what are my plans? My plans are is just to get out on the bike, alright? There is kind of certain loose things I want to do over winter for me. Um, you know, it's still, again, it's just riding bikes. You don't need to know anything. It's not really that interesting. But this time, this time last year, I was going to go to Portugal, and I didn't, because I had a tooth apsis come on, and it was, like, killer. It was really horrible. Um, that kind of knocked me about, you know... I won't be in a wuss about it, but it just made me feel a bit like shit for up to Christmas, really. And then January and February came around, and I was like taking it easy. Like January, February, I kind of float about a bit, become a bit more lively around, you know, March, April, May or something. So I didn't really ride much for like three, three, four, five months or such. But this year, I just want to keep keep ticking over. I quite like it, you know, put a fenders on or whatever. I didn't used to use fenders, but fender bender. But they, um, they serve a purpose of keeping shit off you. And keeping the bike a little bit clean, but, uh, but you know, if you're in the lanes, you're going to get shit and shiz fly everywhere anyway. So, just go out and ride. Don't be a little bitch about it. Um, check out, check out the new crud, crud 3, um, fenders. They look pretty pretty okay actually but I don't know you'd have to you'd have to try them out wouldn't you but I mean I'm still using the old one albeit a bit modified but it works so I'm not gonna go out and buy some new ones this helmet I'm using it's, it doesn't really work well the cycle cap it kind of hits it doesn't push the, the cap right up I think it's the cask vertigo i bought this i didn't always used to wear a helmet mountain biking road biking always used to just wear like a cycle cap or like this bandana underneath like a this really thin beanie or something all right and i did a ride i did a ride with a local bike shop back from um land's end and uh i thought i don't know i thought it'd be a good idea to get a helmet and that was kind of let me see, I started road biking around seven, eight years ago, I think it was. And then maybe five, kind of lose track of it, five, 
five and a half, six years or something. So I'm not, I haven't been using a helmet that long, but now I've started using one. Uh, I wouldn't really ride without one. Like whether you've got a piece of foam strapped on your head or whatever, if you fall off and hit the ground, it's going to, you know, what's better, something or nothing, you know? It's going to make that impact less, isn't it, okay? The helmets are designed, you know, to hit and then crack the design to absorb the impact, aren't they? Okay. Um, I can tell you, right, that when I was in, a, in America once and I was riding down the road, um, like Independence Pass into Aspen, okay, and my roommate shot off, um, no, actually didn't, I shot off ahead of him, you know, I'm a pretty good descender. I mean, if shit's going to happen, it's going to happen, no matter how good you are at something. You know, I'm, I'm not too bad. I mean, I know kind of what's up. Um, I'm not saying my friend wasn't, right? But he was just unlucky that he didn't He didn't make one of these bends, which was actually quite sharp if you're doing 70, 80 kilometers an hour or something. And he ended up like pretty much... I guess, I guess, I don't think he actually hit it, hit it straight on, but it was kind of at an angle. But his front wheel was like tuckered. Um, and his helmet was like split into like three pretty much. Very, very lucky though, but, uh, you know, he was out and about the next day, albeit a little bit, a little bit stoned, so to speak, you know, I don't mean stoned as he was like smoking weed, but a little bit kind of, you know, shook about, so to speak, because he, that was hell of a, hell of a wallop. So if anyone says that, you know, a helmet, you know, they're not really going to do anything, well... You haven't seen what I've seen, and you're wrong. Helmets all right once you uh, you start wearing them. They're cool. They keep you keep the well. They don't keep the flies out of your head because you've got vents in them. But it's just something about it. Once you start wearing a lid, it's all right. It's cool. There's nothing wrong with it. You might look look in the mirror and think you look a bit silly at first or whatever. Um, but it's no bother. It keeps the cycling cap in place when you're flying down a hill. You can put lights on them, etc. Front and rear, whatever. And uh, no problemo, you know, invest a little bit in a decent lid. I mean, some of the cheaper ones do look a bit wank, but uh, go to your local bike shop and get fitted up. So pedaling all over and out, short Sunday ride. Just go out and ride your bike, whether it's 1K or 5K. See you later.